Pets and RVing go really well together. It's a top reason why people actually buy an RV is so they can travel with their pets in comfort for both parties. Curious, do you RV with your pet? You know what I'm talking about. I did not know how important that was until our cat Luke joined me for a year and a half in this van until he died in March of 2021. I was devastated. The life was out of the van and I wanted to get another animal. Wasn't sure if it was a dog or a cat. If you've lost a pet to death, you know what I'm talking about. So there was really a big debate. Dog or a cat, or maybe nothing at all. I was steering toward a cat, lots of pressure to get a dog. Well, the debate is over. Hey, if we're meeting for the first time, howdy. My name is Scott, welcome to my YouTube channel, Go Small, that would be the van live large to take me great places to meet cool people like you sometimes what we do here is we learn together we share together so you can be a better rver whether you are no time still researching part-time just taking cool trips or even being a crazy like me full-time living in a 21 foot camper van built by winnebago with a volta pure 3 lithium system this is just the most amazing rig just past 87,000 miles let's jump inside and meet the new cat. I think the debate is over. We're getting a cat. Let me introduce you to the newest member of our family. And here he is. Come on. Here he is. This is what's currently being called Meow Meow. He's about a seven month old cat, short hair, tuxedo markings, and um, what I'm going to show you is the first night in the van together, his first drive in the van in motion without the carrier when we went to go get tacos. I'm going to have you help name him. Right now, Kyle's sister named him Meow Meow. I think we can do just a little bit better. And to be a YouTube star, you need to have a flashy name, right? So we're going to ask you to choose from one of five names. So stay tuned. We're going to do that toward the end. Let me show you some of the stuff about Meow Meow. And if you're thinking about RVing with your cat, I got some tips for you that I learned from the year and a half with Luke, our now deceased cat. Thank you, uh, Audience Angel Mike, for producing this artwork and this mug for me. Uh, more on that in later in the video and on separate videos. Yeah. I want to share some gear that makes RVing with a cat so much better. And ladies and gentlemen, this is based on um, hard lessons learned the hard way. Uh, good lessons learned the hard way. Is that the way it is? Is he the most chill cat? Look at that. He's got one solid white leg, one kind of booted leg. He's got this little chalk mark. You can see right there on his little face. This little chalk stripe and his body down here uh, looks kind of standard, but I'm just infatuated with cat legs and feet in particular. And uh, very much unlike Luke, this cat does not mind being held. Luke could tolerate it for about a minute this guy will prefer affection versus treats. Luke was the other way around, certainly being in held uh, in motion. Is he the cutest thing? All right, just let me uh, share with you really fast the backstory. I'm gonna have a million questions, so I wanna get that out. So uh, this was a rescue cat by Kyle's sister in Alabama. She rescued five kittens, one died, she homed three, and kind of saved the best for last maybe. Um, and she named him Meow Meow. Uh, they're a Vietnamese family, so coming up with original pet names was kind of not all that important, I guess. I don't know. That's the best thing she had. Um, by the way, this is Meow Meow. He's, um, they wanted me to pick the cat up on the way to home base Florida when I passed through Alabama. I was skeptical because I didn't want to introduce a cat to the van that didn't have a, a collar, that wasn't a litter box trained, although not super high really cat, right? Um, and they've been buddies, uh, it was basically an outdoor cat that was buddies with their a couple of dogs and a parrot of all things. So I just wasn't sure how the cat would react in a van space right out of the gate. So I was like, no, let's pass on that. We'll figure it out when we get back to home base. Well, they snuck one in on me and for Christmas, they came to visit and brought the cat unbeknownst to me and even Kyle for that matter. And um, what they did is they um, did a spring uh, surprise introduction and I just can't tell you, it was almost love at first sight. I snapped my fingers and he came right over to me. Uh, Luke was very good about doing that. And like I said, he is just so chill being held versus Luke. So it was kind of love at first sight uh, for sure. 
And what I wanted to do then is just kind of test drive the cat in the house, uh, in the van, and just see if he could tolerate things. Um, I didn't want to have to make some really bad, really tough decisions on the road with a cat that just wasn't going to be a good van cat. So, so far, so good. Uh, we said yes, we'll take the cat. Um, brought him to the vet uh, two days into it. Spent $400 getting them all checked out and all this stuff. Bought cat carriers. And he isn't, he's actually pretty fond of that thing. And uh, got the requisite, um, we're gonna train him with the um, harness this time. Luke was accustomed to leash and his collar did not take to the um, this thing at all. So this will be a new experience. The cat's not used to being walked like Luke was. So there's gonna be some education there on both sides. But nonetheless, um, he is off to the races. Again, seven months old, about seven pounds. He is super chill. He was so good at the vet, way better than Luke. Um, he had a flea infestation that we've taken care of. Look at him, is he just the cutest thing? <laughs> and um, um, so let me show you the first night in the van. We got some video here for you. Let me, uh, let me cut to that. All right, for the first night in the van, he was a perfect gentleman, let me tell you. There was one kind of bad thing that did happen. I think he caught some whiffs of Luke because he did leave some scent spots, um, primarily on the uh, cab carpet, which I would kind of expect because that's uh, where Luke, you know, had some, had some smells, I'm sure. But I noticed him, I cleaned him up, and he did not scent when we took him to, for tacos. And he's been pretty good. He's not neutered yet and will be in just a couple of weeks. So let me show you some video of our trip to Tacos and how he did on the way back. I think you'll get a big charge out of that. And now we're at our favorite taco spot. Um, so we're gonna have tacos in the van. Kyle's up ordering them now. When um, he gets in, we'll uh, release the dragon. Daughter comes down. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. Yeah, sir. Hello. Oh, these are like see what we got. street tacos. Yes, sir. Look at that. Ooh. 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 And the second best thing to tacos is roasted street corn. Mm. Mm. So mm. yummy. Good. One of the great things about having your van is you can eat takeout food in your van without having to fuss with the weather, the bugs, or the folks around. Pretty cool, right? This is Kyle, by the way, in case you're just joining us for the very first time. Mm -hmm. My name is Scott. Really happy to have you here. With Tweety's sister joining us. Hi. Hi, YouTube. It says Tweety. <laughs> <laughs> so I got three people around the table. The cat has moved from the bathroom floor to a very comfy spot. Kyle joined his sister, so now it's just me and Kitty Kitty uh, driving along. He came from the back. A little too much motion. He was at the center of the van floor here on the carpet, and I picked him up, put him in the in the seat. Uh, he's being pretty, really, very, very good. Um, he's just kind of hanging out and scratching his chin, which he likes a lot. Uh, after getting a few items at the PetSmart, he's gonna get a new bed since he likes it already. He has made himself comfy in the back. We're gonna move him up to the front and continue on. He is doing just great. Kitty Kitty, he's liking his new bed. First time on the freeway. He's doing pretty good. I'm really happy. This is really a great, great sign. It took Luke a few, almost a week, maybe even more, to sit where the cat is sitting now. Looks pretty chill, wouldn't you agree? 
Hey, if you're getting anything out of this video, sure to appreciate a thumb up. That helps me know you like it, helps YouTube know you like it, and they share it out more readily for people like you looking at vans and van life. Comment below about your pets and your RVing situation. Maybe I'm missing something. Dogs are way more popular than cats, so us cat people gotta hang together. And subscribe to the channel. What we do here is we give you van tours, we give you van places to take your van, and give you van tips on how to be a better RVer. Again, whether you're no time, full time, or part time, very popular part timing. So I hope you enjoyed those um, first moments with the cat in the van. Could not be more impressed, more pleased, more happy. I think we found a perfect van cat, assuming we can figure, uh, learn together on how to leash walk that cat. RV tips, here's my tips for you. Number one, introduce the cat, and this is gonna be cats in particular because I have no experience with dogs. So introduce the cat gently to the van. What do I mean? Put the cat in the carrier in the van and just let him sit for a little bit or her and then undo the um, the cat carrier let him out of the cat carrier while the van is stationary and just spend some time letting them explore smell and get used to it cat back into the carrier you may need to do that a few times next one would be to put cat inside carrier van in motion see how that works out the next one would be get cat out of carrier with van in motion um, I was lucky in my experiment with the cat. Um, it was just me. Uh, I would recommend having a partner available if that is at all possible. What you want to do is just make the, uh, the pet feel very safe and have a positive really reinforced um, experience, which may require treats. Yes, cats seem to love these treats. Luke, this was cracked to Luke. Um, this cat isn't as impressed. He'd rather have a, a pet and a head scratch. Okay, no problem. Next thing you want to get for sure for a cat is the Breeze litter box system. We'll put it right here for you. You can get this off my uh, site uh, through Amazon. Uh, why is this so special? Because there's no litter tracking, there's no poopy paws, there is no odor. My next tip would be to get um, a bed for the cat in one of the seats that is, is being ridden when the van's in motion that they can stay in, whether it's under the table or in my case, since I'm solo most of the time, uh, he can sit in the um, front passenger seat and um, be comfy in his bed. Luke loved his bed. I think this cat will too. All right, with the cat's eye view, here's where I need your help. Let's help name this awesome cat. Here are your choices. Uh, they're gonna be listed down below in the show notes and we're gonna do a YouTube poll that will be coming out uh, very, very shortly after this video posts. So the cat's names are to choose from Meow Meow, which you didn't react to too much, right? Cowboy, which is a pretty cool name. You might know why I'm into the cowboy everything. Uh, tuxedo, because he's black and white and has a ring around his neck and then a big spot down the center of his uh, chest, which is pretty cool. So tuxedo, right? Apparently we got another flea or two to get. Um, Zorro, which was a family favorite from Kyle's family. And the last one is Dutton. Yeah, from the Yellowstone fame. So those are your choices. Meow Meow, Cowboy, Tuxedo, Zorro, or Dutton? I'm sorry, he's not facing the camera. <laughs> uh, so check out that poll and help us name the cat. That's how we named the van Lily from viewers like you telling us which name you like the best. That's what I have for you tonight. Really enjoyed making this video for you. Really thrilled to have this little cat. And um, we'll see you on What's Up Wednesday. We do a live YouTube live to help our viewers be better RVers every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central called What's Up Wednesday. Until then, we wish you to journey on. We'll see you later. cat tip because you're still watching and that is to get a cat carrier yes this one is really nice folds down has a carpeted inside uh, they can see out both sides pretty sturdy pretty well made I would say we previously had used the Southwest pet carrier it cost like I don't know $30 this one costs I think 45 what makes this one special too is the floor which again mentioned is carpeted which is really nice um, it folds up into about this big which is super important it fits in the back uh, upper cabinet above the bed 
So having a collapsible pet carrier is absolutely essential in the RV to take him to pet's hotel, take him to the vet, um, maybe just transport him like I'm doing back and forth between uh, the um, renovation house and the van. And um, we're just looking to spend more time together. All right, there you go. Giddy up. <laughs>